Good morning, and thank you for tuning in to your Daily Wallops Weather Briefing for Tuesday, March 24th. Seeing a little bit of sunshine out there. We did see more earlier this morning, but since then we've seen some uh, low clouds around 2,000 feet that develop. We do anticipate this to be the case throughout the remainder of the day today, seeing a, a seasonable high temperature in the mid-50s this afternoon, and then seeing a uh, return to some more rainfall as we go into tomorrow morning. Take a quick look at our satellite here this morning. This is our visible satellite loop. As you can see, there is this nice little hole of uh, uh, partly uh, clear skies or mostly sunny skies early this morning. Since then, we've seen uh, some low clouds start to fill in across the area. We do have this uh, area of um, more dense clouds slowly trying to make its way south across the peninsula. Also going to be seeing those upper level clouds thicken as we go after go into this afternoon too so i um, not really expecting too much more sunshine than we are seeing right now before things start to uh, continue to cloud up and then we will be seeing uh, our next system impact us tonight bringing us uh, very very similar conditions to what we saw yesterday morning with uh, some gusty onshore winds and uh, periods of moderate to very briefly heavy rainfall so taking a look at our service analysis there's a Nice area of high pressure over the Great Lakes, which helped give us a little bit of drier air this morning, helping to clear things out just a bit. <clears throat> we are starting to see, like I said, some of those uh, clouds develop across the peninsula, and we do have our next system that's going to be uh, developing uh, along the stationary front, starting to move uh, eastward, and then that'll be impacting us early tomorrow morning. Uh, it'll likely be raining by the time you wake up tomorrow morning, and we'll see the uh, rainfall continue throughout uh, most of the day. Uh, with the best chance to see some heavier rain in the a.m. hours. Taking a brief look at our upper level winds this morning, seeing winds uh, northwesterly at the surface through about 3,000 feet, 25 to 30 knots just above the surface. At the surface, they're actually pretty light this morning, only running around 5 to 10 knots. Winds are then shifting more westerly uh, as we go above 9,000 feet uh, with 33 knots at that level and then increasing up to 71 knots at the 25,000 foot level. Seeing a freezing level this morning once again just above 9,000 feet. Take a look at our forecast for today. Going to be looking at that high of 57 degrees with uh, mostly cloudy skies. Uh, winds are uh, currently normally around 5 to 10 knots. They're going to become um, fairly light and variable once we get towards noon just for a brief period before they shift southeasterly at 5 to 10 knots. That's those southeasterly winds will continue as we go into the evening hours and then starting to increase after uh, 8 p.m. Uh, around 7 to 12 knots by around midnight and then after midnight as we start to see the impacts from our next weather system going to be seeing those winds shift easterly at 10 to 15 knots and gusty and then uh, 13 to 18 knots and gusty by mid-morning wednesday and uh, with a, a pretty good chance of seeing a wind advisory by the mid to late morning hours on wednesday we'll see a low this evening of 45 and then see those temperatures kind of hold there overnight before rising in the pre-dawn hours of wednesday uh, we are going to be seeing like I said, those uh, rain showers later tonight. Uh, can't rule out a brief chance of a sprinkle between 10 p.m. and midnight, but it looks like the best chance for rain will be after midnight. Um, and then seeing rain become likely after 4 a.m., best chance of seeing some moderate to heavy rain will be in the uh, mid to late morning hours of Wednesday. Taking a look at our terminal forecast, currently seeing broken cloud deck at 2,000 feet, broken at 20,000, broken at 25,000. Could briefly see that 2,000 foot layer become um, overcast once we get into the afternoon hours. And uh, then as we go into this evening, we'll actually uh, see uh, just some mid-level clouds increase with continuing to see that broken cloud at near 2,000. And then uh, once the rain arrives, we will be seeing ceilings lower below 1,000 feet at times, especially after 4 a.m., possibly even around 500 feet or lower once we get into more moderate to heavy rain showers towards the mid-morning hours of Wednesday. We are going to be seeing our tides uh, still half to one foot above normal out there, and that should be reinforced with our weather system tonight, giving us that continued onshore flow, uh, those breezy easterly winds. Taking a look at our short-term model here, let's just show you how that those rain showers are going to progress as we go into this evening. Like I said, going to remain dry today into the workday, into this evening as well, not expecting any threat of rain until um, around midnight. And like I said, can't rule out a slight chance of a sprinkle after 10 p.m., but 
here's midnight. You'll start to see the first uh, bands of rain starting to impact the southern Delmarva. And then as we get close, further into the uh, overnight hours, this is 2 a.m., you'll start to see those uh, stronger returns approach the area. This is 4 a.m., and that's when we will be seeing the rain likely across um, the central and southern portions of the Delmarva. And then those rain showers continuing through 8 a.m. and seeing those chances for some moderate or perhaps briefly heavy rainfall. And then we will be seeing rain sh showers continue throughout much of the day tomorrow. This is uh, 4 p.m., and then that's when we'll start to see things lighten up get again and becoming uh, more spotty. Taking a little bit uh, of a longer look down the um, timeline here we are going to be seeing um, there's those that weather system that's expected to give us uh, rain tonight also some breezy winds as we see that pressure gradient tightening up there for uh, late tomorrow morning into early tomorrow afternoon can't rule out seeing a brief shower after 8 p.m. tomorrow but that looks unlikely looks like the rainfall will be ending by 8 p.m. and then we'll continue to see cloudy skies becoming partly clear by uh, early Thursday morning. Then Thursday we'll see some nice high pressure set up across, starting to set up across the southeast, giving us a fairly seasonable day um, under partly cloudy skies. So Thursday is looking very nice out there. But then as we move into Wednesday, we're going to get this warm front moving across the Delmarva. There is going to be a chance to see some scattered showers Friday morning uh, with the initial passage of that warm front. And then seeing the uh, temperatures really bump up Friday afternoon into the um, upper 60s. And uh, as we go into Friday night, going to be seeing an additional wave of energy move along that front as that front stalls out across the uh, central to northern portions of the Delmarva. That additional uh, area of energy is going to maybe perhaps give us a chance of uh, some thunderstorms for Friday night. A um, little bit of uncertainty regarding this still as uh, it's going to depend on where that wave of energy goes and exactly where that front sets up um, on Friday afternoon. As we go into a Saturday... Uh, we are going to be seeing some showers Saturday morning uh, with that front kind of sagging a little bit south, it looks like. And um, then as we go into uh, Sunday, we'll see that front move back north, giving us some uh, good southwesterly winds. So Sunday does look to be like a very warm day into the lower to mid-70s possible. Um, and then uh, as we go into Sunday afternoon, evening, we'll see a cool front pass the area, but it looks like it's really going to fizzle out as it approaches the region. Can't rule out a chance of a shower or thunderstorm Sunday afternoon and evening, but not looking terribly likely at this time. And then seeing just a uh, return to some more uh, seasonable or uh, slightly cooler temperatures as we go into early next week. So taking an overview of our 7 day forecast here, 57 today under mostly cloudy skies with a low of 45 this evening. As we uh, go into tomorrow we are going to see that to rain and the breezy conditions with a high of 53. Rain should be out of here by about 8 p.m. at the um, tomorrow evening see, and then we'll see a uh, low down to 40 degrees a little bit closer to uh, average with a uh, very seasonable high of 57. Thursday is going to be just a beautiful day out there. As we go into Friday, we'll be seeing the low of 46, but then uh, with that warm front passage Friday morning, we'll see the chance of scattered showers then, about 50%, and then seeing things warm up with that southwesterly flow up to the upper 60s. And uh, like I mentioned, we are going to be seeing that chance possibly of some thunderstorms Friday night and Saturday as we get a little bit of a wave of energy moving along that warm front, um, but that's uh, still a little bit uncertain at this time. So Friday night does look to be mild, and uh, Saturday looking at a high of 63 as we get a little bit more of an onshore flow, I think, at times. That'll help to bump those temperatures down compared to Friday and Sunday and just giving us a 20% chance of a shower in the morning. Sunday we're going to see a southwesterly flow return, and it does look like it's going to return uh, much quicker than on Friday, which will help to bump those temperatures all the way up into the mid-70s for Sunday, also giving us a slight chance of an afternoon shower or storm with that cool front passage, and then seeing a return to some more seasonable and dry conditions for Monday under partly cloudy skies with a high of 60. That'll do it for your daily weather briefing. Everybody have a wonderful day.